everybody. Welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. My name is Tiffany and here on this channel I'm taking you along for all of the adventures here on the ranch. Today I am tackling some turmeric. Several months ago we harvested our whole front area that we have um, full of turmeric also known as olena for those of us in Hawaii. Um, I have this big bucket full they're starting to dry out already, but that's okay. They've been washed once already, but I'm going to wash them one more time. I have not used it in the manner that I'm going to today. It is um, an old school one. We have a lot of humidity here, so it's hard to keep the humidity from going into the, the dehumidifier dehydrator. Um, so it does take an extra long time. Last time that I did this, I left pretty big pieces. I sliced them. So this time I think I'm going to put them through my food processor to make thinner slices so that it will dehydrate faster. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started washing. don't really know how much is going to fit in my dehydrator so I'm just starting out with a bucket here it's a pretty sizable bucket I think it's a two gallon I'm not super concerned about getting them sparkly clean because we grew this here on the ranch. It is most definitely organic in every sense of the word. I just don't want any dirt in our powder. I'm going to hydrate this and then I am going to pulverize it into a really nice powder. Its main purpose in our household is Turmeric's main purpose in our household is, as of lately, curry, but even long before that, um, my sweetheart likes to make really healthy, awesome smoothies. He does it with spirulina, um, he does frozen fruits, um, he'll put bananas in there, usually just from our land. Um, we freeze those when the rack gets ready. Um, maca powder, cacao powder, all kinds of really, really awesomeness. There's some of them that I can't even really pronounce. I think one of them is chlorophyll. I'll have to do some more research to figure out what the, the benefits are. Um, these smoothies taste amazing. But they're very filling, so. Now, I'm not going to peel these. I am simply just taking off all the undesirable little bits of root that's left on there. And of course the dirt. So I think we're going to call this good. My bucket is almost full. I'm going to see how much this ends up being in our dehydrator. But also I only have like three minutes to get inside to catch fermented homestead live. So here we go. We have our turmeric all cleaned up. I have watched fermented homesteads live and now we are ready to finish processing this turmeric. 
I originally the first time that I did this, I sliced it pretty thick and it took a very long time to dehydrate in our environment. I'm going to try it in the food processor this time. We'll see how thin it comes out. blade they did turn out pretty thin depending on the angle I think that I put it in there are various sizes but I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and finish with that blade I'm very new to using a food processor and it's really fun. We're going to have to do two batches. Okay, so I'm going to leave this tray just like that. I don't want to overload it. It might already be too much, but um, this will shrink quite a lot while it is dehydrating. So we still have that much turmeric. I don't think we're gonna need a second batch. Okay, so our four trays are filled up. I hope I didn't overfill them, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this started dehydrating. I did end up with a lot more turmeric than I was able to process. About half the amount that I washed ended up cut up in the food processor, and only about half of that ended up in the dehydrator. So. I'm just going to go ahead and get this batch started and we'll see where we end up. I might end up um, going ahead and saving this other batch for tomorrow or the next day whenever this is dried out. Um, I don't know how that'll go with my work schedule, but we'll see. I'm going to start the dehydrator. I have no idea how long this dehumidifier is going to take, but definitely gonna be into tomorrow so we'll just let it do its thing 
All right, you guys, it is the next day. I just got home from work, and so we're gonna check out our turmeric. I think that it is dehydrated enough to where we can go ahead and blend it up into a powder. All right. They're crispy. Cool. Let's do this. I believe that sometimes you want to double check because this layer is the farthest away from the heat source that was taking the moisture out. So I would want to definitely double check that the furthest away layer is just as crispy. I believe so. We are in good shape. So our half size blender is pretty darn full from those four trays. Let's see what happens after we plug it in. It went from all the way full to about a quarter full. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sift it out and put the bigger pieces right back in. Hey, that's working a lot better. That is working a lot better, even just immediately. Look at all that powder already. That's awesome. Okay, so a couple of things that I'm learning here. One, smaller batches in the strain in the one smaller batches in the sifter two bigger surface don't do it into a jar
We are not yet, we're about a third of the way there on this one pint jar. Back into blender you go. So while we continue to blend up our dried bits, I am going to go ahead and reload the dehydrator with the rest of the turmeric that we had from yesterday and make the best of my time. All right, you guys, it is the next day. Another batch of turmeric has been dehydrating all day long. So we are going to blend this one up and make another batch of powdered turmeric. I really wanna figure out how to insert one of those 27 hours later into this video. You know the guy I'm talking about? Yeah, I think he's off SpongeBob. Is that off SpongeBob? As I was editing this video and getting ready to post it, I realized I did not film an outro. So I wanted to let you guys know what we ended up with with our turmeric. We ended up with two pints of powder, but the blender is not the best tool for this. So if you're going to do this in the future, I would suggest you use maybe a coffee grinder or an herb blender grinder of some sort. I'm sure that they make plenty of tools specifically made for such a thing. So I actually end up with three half pints of larger pieces, but they will definitely not go to waste. I will absolutely cook with these as well. And then the powder, um, my sweetheart will definitely put these in his smoothies and it will be delicious. So that is definitely a couple of things that I learned from this experience is use the right tools, work smarter, not harder. But you know what, you guys, it is so worth it. The powdered turmeric that I get from say Costco or from any other random grocery store, they are on the older side and they don't taste as strong. They don't taste as good. You don't know where they were grown. You don't know what kinds of pesticides were put on there. I know exactly where this tumor came from. It came from right here. So I know exactly what was not sprayed on it. I know exactly what I fed to it and I feel good about that. So if you guys want to grow your own turmeric or even say ginger, you could do the same thing with ginger. I would highly encourage you to do so. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.